Yes, Lord Sugar. Could you send the candidates in, please? So this task was all about... Uh, yes, our task was to go around filming... Sorry? Yeah, as you know, our, our task was to support our £250,000 crowdfunding campaign by getting bloody drinks into as many TV shows as possible. What is that? That's the uh, video showing how we got on. AC12 interview by Superintendent Hastings, D.I. Fleming, D.I. Arnold. So give us something. No comment. Fine. Uh, I'm Will Best, this is Harry Farnham. We're old friends from university. Best friends. The old friends is fine. So what do you want to know? Why? That's a great question, DC Arna. Um, well, we were fed up of being served dodgy versions of our favourite cocktail. You go to a bar, a restaurant, a friend's house, the chance of getting a good Bloody Mary are actually really slim. It's a really complicated drink to make, so many ingredients, consistency is really hard to achieve. So we decided to make a drink that's the perfect Bloody Mary every bloody time. Fancy yourself as a bit of a comedian, do you? On screen, image 135. Recognise this property? Yep, that is a picture of Harry and I celebrating our Waitrose listing. That launched um, in April. Thing is, we're just incredibly passionate about what we do. You know that fella. That's why I'm asking the organ grinder and not a monkey. You're not a monkey. You're a big sexy silverback. Should we just take a look at the uh, ingredients? What are you making for us? Today, Greg, I'm going to make you a great taste award-winning, ready-to-drink Bloody Mary. Yay! Yep, well, we make it with uh, an award-winning East London vodka, a beautiful Amontillado sherry. Actually, try some. Is that a bribe? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> and then as well as the tomato juice, we use lots of fresh lemon juice. We use a dash of Kikoman soy sauce, which just brings out the umami in the tomatoes without having to add more salt. Lots of seasoning, of course, and the real deal Tabasco in the original and genuine Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, because, I mean, let's face it, without those two, can you even call a drink a Bloody Mary? <laughs> <laughs> sort of funny, but we do take this very seriously, like our environmental responsibilities. I mean, that's the reason why we put our drink in a can in the first place. It's far more sustainable than heavy glass bottles. Um, and, and we've already signed up for 1% for the planet, which means that 1% of all of our revenue goes to environmental and sustainability charities. Brilliant work. Look at this. Look at this. This level of knowledge and skill is, is extraordinary. Oh, thanks very much, Greg. Anyway, that's the recipe for the drink. Now let's look at the recipe for success. I was enjoying it up till then. We got this. Could we get down to business? What did you do last year? In the last year, yeah, we turned over three hundred thousand pounds in revenue. Oh my God, you're an animal. What are you hoping to do this year? Uh, well, this year we're hoping to at least double that. Uh, we've increased our Sainsbury store distribution from 115 stores to 275. We've got our first uh, pub chain listing with the national pub chain. Uh, we are doing really well in direct to consumer. We've almost doubled our uh, average uh, monthly revenue on there. And then very excitingly, we've also in April launched into Waitrose. We've got a whole nother supermarket in there. Uh, we've also secured listings with several national wholesalers and we're in talks with uh, a few major pub groups as well. We're also um, in advanced talks with a really major airline uh, and we've had a request to supply uh, Bloody Marys to a big famous hotel group. I want to know about other products. We've got one. Uh, it's called the Bloody Samurai. Um, you can find it in Wagamama's airport concessions at the moment. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will get rolled out across the whole estate. Whoa. We've also got a Virgin Mary in development, which will really help with our growth into the on trade. That's some serious shit, isn't it? Oh, thanks. Blimey. So there you go, Sir Alan. Um, the story of, of, of the brand. Hopefully that tells you a bit about what we've done, where we're going, and most importantly, it's seared the brand name into your subconscious. The bloody, 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 bloody,